Hello, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Gloria. If you've never seen my face before, I am an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. And today, as it shows in the description, I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about this um, tracking method that I use to track my inventory and sales for my jewelry business. All right. Um, as you can see here, I am using what is called Google Sheets. It's similar to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, um, but it is available for those who have a Google account. So if you have a Google account, you can certainly create a Google Sheet for yourself um, and design it however you see fit to help you uh, manage your business. Um, so this here is a Google Sheet that I created, again, to track my inventory and my sales not in terms of monetary monetary um, activity it's just giving me an idea of the items that i purchased how many of those items um, was it that i have purchased so far what has happened to those items whether i sold them i kept them or i gave them away and how many items i have left that i would need to sell Okay, it also tracks my hostess rewards, um, what those items are and the life of those hostess rewards. And I'll get into a little more detail about that in a minute. Okay, so similar to Google um, Sheets, um, we uh, Google also offers other programs like Google Docs which is like Microsoft Word. So again, if you have a Google account, you're able to access these apps, open them up, create your own sheets or your own documents and use them similar to what you would use uh, Microsoft Word and Excel for. But this is specific for Google um, clients or Google account, people who have Google accounts. Also, what's good about this is that these um, sheets or, or, or um, documents that you would create on Google, they are shareable. So you can share them with other people. So what that means is if after going through all of this, you notice, you know what, this is a tracker that would go great for my business or this is something that I would consider giving a try. I can certainly set this up for you and share it with you so that you can work on this yourself, have it or apply it to your business and see how it would work for you. So if that is something that you're interested in, just leave a comment down below that you're interested and I'll be more than happy to set that up for you and send it off to you so that you can start using it. Okay, but let's dive in and let's talk more about what you're seeing here and what this is all saying and what this calculates and, and how to use it, okay? So as you can see, I have certain columns here. I have date purchase. So what date was the, what was the item purchased? What the actual item was that was purchased? How many of that item did I purchase? And then it goes off to talk about the history of that purchase or the life cycle of it, if you will. How many did I sell? How many did I give away? How many did I keep for myself? And then how many are left to sell later on in the future? Okay, up here on the top, oops, <laughs> I don't know why my screen just did that, but anyway, up here in the top, it actually gives the totals. So the totals of everything. This is the total number of items that you've had overall, whether you've purchased them directly or you receive them as an host, a hostess reward, it's all calculated to give you that grand total, okay? Harper's tired. He's supposed to be taking a nap now. Sorry, it's something on my lip and it's bothering me. Oh my. <laughs> all right, so he's gonna be making noise, but hopefully he'll go to sleep or he'll be quiet, whichever one, we don't know. All right, so then this one here gives you the total number of items sold. So let's say, and, and I've used this, and this is really, really good, it's tax season, okay? Or even, not even tax season yet, but you're at the end of the, end of the year, December 31st, 2019, and you want to know how many items have you sold so far, okay? Because you know that you had a certain number of items that you started with in the beginning of the year. It could be zero, because you just started this year, or it could be 100, because that's what rolled over from the previous year. And you wanna know how many items you sold for the year. 
Well, you go there and you say, you, you look at this total here and it tells you how many items you sold, how many items you gave away and how many items you kept. Now, you can, you can um, compart, com, uh, how do you say it? You can categorize it into different years. So you can set this up each year and start a new list if you want it. Um, then it'll give you data for that specific year. I don't set it up that way. It's just a running list because I don't really look at this tracker to see how many items I sold for a particular year. No, I look at overall. For the overall activity of my business, how many items have I sold? So if I've been in business for two years, I like to see in the two years, how many items did I sell? It gives me an opportunity to, to give like, to get like a life check on my business. If I've been in business for two years and I've only sold 10 items, but I've purchased overall, I've purchased 300 items. Where are the other items? You know, wh what happened? If I've only sold that, that few, have I given them all away? Have I kept them all for myself? You know, if that's the case that I've kept them all for myself, then maybe I'm not really using this as a business. Maybe this is just a hobby or, or an interest of mine that I just like to, you know, be in paparazzi for the um, a discount. Or maybe that is what I did. I started off, you know, in this business as um, an opportunity to get the discount, but now I want to turn it and I want to actually make some money. Well, then you know what you got to focus on. You know that you got to up your sales, um, you know, and, and up the work, the inventory that you have up your and up your sales. Right. And stop keeping them all for yourself because you're not going to make money for keeping it all for yourself. Right. Um, so I, I just use it as a running list. If I wanted to see how many items I sold in a particular year, I have other tracking for that. And I know that there are programs out there that provide this information for you. I believe Square and PayPal do that. I haven't had an opportunity to dabble into that, so I can't tell you how it works. Um, I can only speak for what I'm using currently, and this is what I'm using. I like Excel. I love spreadsheets. I particularly didn't want to use Excel on um, the Excel program. So I decided to go with Google Sheets instead because I want to make sure I want to be able to share this with people. I want this to be accessible. I can access this on my phone, um, through my laptop, any computer, as long as I can um, sign into my Google account, I, I can have access to this uh, Google Sheets. And I like that. I like, um, I like that benefit, okay? So um, it has the totals here, and then it tells you the total number of items that are left to sell at any given time, okay? Again, I mentioned the hostess rewards. So this here tracks the hostess rewards that I receive, how many of them I actually receive, and what happens with them. So similar to this side over here, how many were sold, given away, or how many were kept. Okay? So um, let's see. As an example, let, let's, let's do a quick example. Okay? As an example, let's say... Uh, I started off today, and this is it's not going to be so realistic <laughs> because we know that if we started off today, we would have a, a larger starter pack than this. But let's just say we started off today. I'm a new consultant. Yay! Can't wait to start my paparazzi journey. I'm so excited. I purchased my kit, and I actually know what I'm going to receive in my kit. I know all the names, but for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to talk about one. Okay, so in this starter set, I have all the trimmings in purple, okay? And this starter set is so um, special because I actually have four of them, all right? So four of them, this is my little starter kit. Again, it's not realistic because we know that the starter kits come with more items and the items are different. They're not all the same most of the time. So your list is going to be different. But for this training, 
purpose, I wanted to just give an example. So we're working with one product. Sweetheart, you got to be careful, okay? Don't touch the table because you're going to mess it up. All right. So go, go over there that way, please. Go that way. Oh, boy. Go that way. That way. I have to direct him sometimes. All right. So we have all the trimmings in purple, and we have four of them. Okay? We haven't done anything with them. So as you can see, there's nothing. There's no data in the sold, given away, or kept categories. So the item left would be four if we haven't done anything. Okay? I do a live or pre-sale whatever and i'm able to sell one of the all the trimmings in purple so that means i have three left and notice i didn't have to do anything other than put how many items i sold how many of that i sold it automatically calculated for me because there's formulas in this cell and the formulas do the calculation for you okay so now yes i sold the piece but you know what my neighbor, such a beautiful soul. I want to gift her a piece, and I think she'll really like this necklace. So let me give her one. I gave one necklace to her. That means I have two left that I'm able to sell. I already sold one, and I just gave one to my neighbor. But wait a minute. I love purple. Purple's my favorite color, and I like that necklace. I want to have that as part of my collection. Okay, so I keep one for myself. That means I only have one left that I'm able to sell. That's it, just one. But that's okay, I'm starting my business, I'm trying to grow my business. This, these are the things that we're gonna do. We're gonna sell some items, we're gonna give some items away, we're gonna keep some items because we have to be one with the product, we have to sell the product, we have to showcase the product, and so we're gonna need some inventory, right? For ourselves, that's what it is. All right, so then I say, you know what? But I want to go a step further. Yes, I have my starter kit. I know the items that I have. I'm, I already have some activity on this item here. But I want to take advantage and I want to place another order through the back office. This time, I want to take advantage of this hostess rewards that they're talking about that paparazzi offers. Okay, so what's that? When, for every 10 pieces that you buy... Paparazzi gives you a free piece. Oh my gosh, so that's 11 pieces for the price of 10 at a wholesale rate? Oh, I'm excited. Let's do it. All right, so I purchase the Imperial Idol necklace, but I'm purchasing 10 of them because, again, I want to take advantage of that hostess reward program. Okay, so I haven't done anything with them yet, so there's no changes to the total here. But as you can see, the number or the total number of items that I have available overall that I've purchased overall is 14. That's the 10 necklaces that I just purchased in the back office and the four necklaces that I purchased in my starter kit. Okay, now this number here is different. It's not going to match this one because remember, this is the total number of items overall, whether you have them or not. Once they're purchased, it goes up here. Okay, or once received, it goes up here. This item, this column here is for the items that are left. So that's after you've done your selling and you're giving away and you're keeping, what items do you have left? Oh, I got to restart at, at some point today. <laughs> Okay, so here it shows that you have 11 items left to sell. Okay, so I purchased my 10 items. I get my hostess reward. I know my hostess reward is Summer Eden, and I only have one because, again, I only purchased 10 items, so I only get one hostess reward. So there we go. All right, so now because I add the hostess reward to my tracker, it shows that I have 12 items left that I can possibly sell because I haven't done anything with my hostess rewards or my imperial necklaces. The total number also increased by one because I added that Summer Eden onto, um, onto the list for tracking purposes, okay? So as another example, all right, so we have 12 items to sell. You know what? Somebody wanted three necklaces. 
So I was able to sell three necklaces of the Imperial Idol. That means I have seven left to sell. I'm so excited. My business is going great. I'm making sales. And you know what? That one, all the trimmings purple necklace that was left, somebody wanted it. So they bought it. So instead of this being one necklace that I sold, I actually sold two now. So now I sold two of the all trimmings necklaces. That means I have none left. I'm sold out on the all trimmings purple. Sold out. So if you want it, if you're into color code, co color coordinating and all that jazz, excuse me, stop pulling the table. Sorry, guys. But, you know, if you're into color coordinating, you can click on the cell. You can add a fill color in it. You can do pink, you know, because that's your key. And when you see pink items, you know, okay, these items have been sold out. I don't have any more of them. Or you don't You don't have to. You don't have to do a fill color. It's what, what I like about this program is that you can design it however you like, whatever works for you. Okay, and so if color coordinating works for you, you can do it here. You can certainly make that part of your process. All right, so all the trimmings is sold out. And you know what? The Summer Eden one, I actually wanted to give that away. So I go here to this field and I give it away. Okay? Okay, because I'm tracking hostess rewards separately. Why? I like to see what I do with my hostess rewards. I like to see if I give them away most times, or if I keep them for myself most times, or if I sell them all the time. You know, I want to see what's going on with hostess rewards. And the best way to do that is to keep it in its own category. But the calculations or the data that you put here is calculated up here. So you don't have to worry about that. Because you see right here, it only shows one was given away. But the total item, number of items given away is two. That's because it's calculating this one as well. There's a formula entered here where it calculates all of the items that were given away, no matter the column or cell that you input it into. So long as your formula is correct, it's going to grab that data and it's going to collect it. Okay? So now, as another example, just, just to show how this works and how you can keep you know tracking your inventory okay so later on today you know you're on fire you want to reinvest you sold uh three pieces um today you want to reinvest or, or what have you or maybe you want more hostess rewards okay so like i said you know you're on fire you're purchasing um, you're, you're selling and you want more hostess rewards. So you're going to up the amount of items that you purchase. Okay, so this one here, you're going to purchase um, just in timeless. That's the post earrings and it's going to be the um, silver one. So it's the one with the uh, silver backing. You're going to purchase 10 of those. But then in addition to that, you're going to um, purchase, why well, I keep saying post, I don't even know why. You're going to put, again, you're going to purchase 10 more in gold. Okay, wait a minute. So that was all today. I purchased 10 of the Justin Timeless in white with the silver backing, then I purchased 10 of the gold one, okay? So that's the ones with the gold backing. So 10 and 10. Remember, for every 10 pieces, you get a free piece. That's a hostess reward. So in the hostess reward, I get a beauty shop fashion. And guess what? I got another Summer Eden. They gave me another Summer Eden. That's awesome. Okay? So instead of having this as one, now I have two. Now, it's not, you know, the number, or this here is not the number that you, of items you have available. This is the number of items that you've received. 
okay, during the life of your tracking. So remember I received the Summer Eden in the first order, and then in the second order, excuse me, that I made, they gave me another Summer Eden, so I'm going to put it here as receiving two Summer Edens in the lifetime of this inventory tracking process, okay? So, what happens now? All right, well, all together so far, I've purchased and received 37 items, all right? That's all these items here, so that's 10, 20, 30, plus 4 is 34, plus the three hostess rewards I received. I've sold five, excuse me. I've sold five items so far. I've given two items away, which is this one and the one of the Summer Edens, and I kept one for myself. I like stud earrings, so I'm going to keep two of the white and two of the gold for myself. And that means now I have eight of the white and eight of the gold left to sell or give away if I so choose. Okay? All together, I have 25 items to sell. That's the remaining items here and the remaining items here that are left to sell. So, what if a customer says to me, you know what, I like that necklace you showed the other day. It was, um, it was like a, 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 a black and like shiny hematite. It's like idol something. It had like the name idol in it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You go to your inventory your tracker. Imperial Idol. Yes, what about it? Oh, I like it. I would like to purchase two. Oh, you want two of them? That's excellent because I have seven available. Oh, you have seven available? I want to buy all of them. Well, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You can get all seven. All right. So, she's purchasing seven. There's three here that you already sold. So, now you have to add seven onto that, which will give you ten. So you change that 3 to a 10, that means you have no more of that necklace available. And it shows right here, no more available. Which also means you sold 12 items all together, overall, and now you only have 18 items left to focus on selling. Okay? So this is a short version, <laughs> or relatively short version of this tracker and how I use it for my business. Again, it does not go into specific, specific detail in terms of how much money you make, but it gives you a quick snapshot or a high level overview of the amount of um, inventory you have purchased overall and what has happened to that. What has been the life cycle since you started tracking it, okay? Again, it gives you an idea if you're too heavy on keeping the items for yourself or you're too heavy on giving the items away and not selling enough. Or maybe you sell a lot and that's awesome, but maybe you sell them right as they come in. And so you need to up the amount of inventory that you order from the back office so that you have more customers and you can increase your sales. All right. So once again, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button. And if you have not already done so, but you're interested in knowing more about um, training videos that I have in the future, or you're just interested in following my journey overall, please make sure that you consider subscribing to my channel and make sure that the notification bell um, is clicked so that you are notified when I post future videos and such. Once again, thank you so much. Make sure that you leave your comments down below whether you liked it or not. Any suggestions that you have, I am, I am open um, and I welcome those suggestions. If you want me to go more into detail in terms of, excuse me, If you want to go into more detail in terms of this particular sheet and what the formulas look like or how I was able to come up with the formulas or what it is you would need to think about in order to create formulas on your own, 
please reach out to me and let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.